On the menu is a succulent rare beef fillet with salsa verde, served with roasted truffle new potatoes. Right, Jack, get that pan nice and hot. Recognise that? Fillet of beef. This is a Rolls Royce cut oh, nice. of beef. So we've got to treat it with some respect, OK? Yeah. Mop up all that seasoning. Yeah. Into the pan and get that really nice and hot. Hello, Tills. Hello, guys. I'm going to check up on you. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Kiss. And... Mm -hmm. mm. What's that, Holt? Very nice. Thyme. What's the name? Rosemary. Rosemary. A little bit of garlic and thyme in there. Cooking with these aromatic herbs and garlic will add flavour to the beef. Because it's a fillet of beef, there's hardly any fat on there, so you sear it quickly. Mm. Ends as well get mm. seared. I'm going to now put some butter in there. Continue frying all those herbs. Now, baste that with the butter. See? Dad, are we just having this or are we going to have something with it? Now we're going to serve some beautiful baked potatoes with truffle and a salsa verde. Into the oven, eight to ten minutes, that's all. Next, my super special baked new potatoes. Wash and drain small new potatoes and tip into a baking tray. Drizzle with olive oil, then season with a touch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Place into an oven preheated at 180 degrees Celsius and bake for 35 minutes until crisp on the outside and soft all the way through. Transfer to your serving dish and grate over fresh Parmesan cheese. Last but not least, shave gorgeous earthy black truffle slithers onto the cheesy potatoes. Baked new potatoes with a lavish twist. Indulgent, but couldn't be simpler to make. Right, salsa verde. Anchovies. A little touch of anchovy oil in there, OK? I love anchovies. After that, we've got some capers. Oh. Garlic in with the anchovies and the capers, OK? A touch of salt. Why only a touch? Because you've got the salt from the anchovies already. That's right. Well done, Holes. Dijon mustard. Cherry vinegar. Give that a nice mix. And now, this is where it starts to go to a completely different level. Some fresh mint and some fresh parsley. I want half of it in there pureed. Yeah. A touch of olive oil in there. In. The rest of the mint. A touch of salt. Pepper. Excited? Yep. Yeah. Your taste? Tom's? I'd love some of these. Mmm. What's it taste like? That. Mm. 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 Might need to try a tiny oh, wow. bit more. Might need Just to try a tiny check. bit more. Just to check. Stop! Mm. You can't kiss any boys now. <laughs> Before the kids polish off all the salsa verde, I need a distraction, and I think my beef fillet will do the job nicely. Look at this baby. Hot holes. <whistles> Up. Look at that. Sears, and look how juicy mm. and tender that is. Take that out and let that sit on there. A little spoon, just while it sits and rests off your salsa verde. As the beef cools down, that salsa verde marinades. That goes to the table very carefully, please. Tills, take it over the baked potatoes, please. This is my ultimate special occasion dinner. The tenderest rare beef fillet with punchy salsa verde, served with extravagant truffled new potatoes, it's always a special occasion in our house when my wonderful mum and her husband, Jimmy, turn up for dinner. Sit down, guys, wow. please. Oh, that sauce just finishes off, doesn't it? Sauce of the other Say it, Mum. No. <laughs> Sal. 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 Day. Day. Sal. Sal. Day. Yay! This is a definite special occasion. Cheers, Nan. Cheers, Nan. Cheers. Just slice the sandwich in half. Mmm. Beautiful. 